Welcome to Souped Up Recipes. Today we're making shrimp pork fried wonton. Look at that! That's amazing. There's some sauce. Mmm. Oh my god! Seriously, that's the best wonton I have ever had. Super crispy. Let's do the filling first. I'm using two types of protein today. You can use whatever you want. First, eight ounces of ground pork. Just put that in. Here are eight ounces of peeled shrimp. I already cut it into smaller size. I'm going to just dump in half of it into the blender. Save the other half for later. I just like that you can see and bite the shrimp. Feels so good. After that, we're gonna add all the seasoning. One tablespoon of cornstarch. One tablespoon of soy sauce. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. One or two teaspoon of ground ginger. One teaspoon of ground garlic. One teaspoon of white pepper. One teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of salt or to taste. Last, we're gonna crack an egg. That will make the filling smooth. Blend that together. I know this blender is so tiny, but it is enough for 30 to 40 wontons. That looks good. <laughs> Transfer it into a big bowl. This is the texture you are looking for. It is sticky and smooth. Add a quarter cup of spring onion, a quarter cup of cilantro, and one third cup of finely minced carrot. Mix then. You can cook small amount of the filling into the microwave and taste it, see if you need to adjust it. After you're sure about the taste, you can wrap your wonton. I make this many times, so I know it is good. Before we start making the wonton, one more thing. Make the slurry as glue. This will make sure your wonton is safe, they're not gonna be open during cooking. Now it is the time to make wonton. I like to put some flour on the board so they don't stick to each other. When you buy the skin, you want to buy the thin ones. It tastes much better. You can make your own wonton skin, but it is not easy to roll it as thin as you buy from the store. Put some filling on the skin. Don't put too much because wonton skin is really thin and easy to break. I put a little more than a teaspoon. Okay. Then put the shrimp on top of it. Does anyone ever get frustrated when you close in the dumplings? So some people just roughly pinch the edge together. That is how wonton came out actually. But I like to fold it nicely. It looks better. So this is how I do. Dip some slurry on the edge. Fold it like a triangle. Push out the air and pack it tight to make sure it won't open when you deep fry it. Make a curve so it's easy to fold. Then you glue the end and pinch them together. Look how cute that is! <laughs> My favorite way to make wonton. Not that hard, right? Just finish them all. If you want to save some, then you can cover it. Make sure there are space between each other and put it in the freezer. It will last a couple weeks. 
Do not defrost when you want to eat them again. Just steam, deep fry, or boil directly. Okay, let's fry it. This is how I test the temperature. Put a tiny piece of wonton skin. It will sink to the bottom. You just wait until it flow to the top. If you see a lot of bubbles, that is perfect. Put in your wonton one by one. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Push them a little bit just to make sure they are separated. It is really important to get the right temperature. You see all that bubbling? That is actually the steam coming out, so the oil won't get inside. But if the temperature is too low, then the steam is not strong enough to push the oil out. Your wonton will be oily. After a few minutes, all the wontons flow to the top. And you can feel the skin is getting crispy. So you can take it out. I know, <laughs> the color doesn't look right. Don't worry, we'll fry it again. Just let it rest for about 5 minutes. This is the second time we are double frying it. Just put it in. If you get the temperature right, it will literally just take 15 seconds to become golden brown. I'm gonna just let it fry a little more to get it really crispy. Take it out and use paper towel to get rid of the oil. Now let's make the sauce. One tablespoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of Chinese black vinegar, two teaspoons of Sichuan hot chili oil. I have a video about how to make this chili oil. Check that out. My mouth is watery now. Mm. Ooh, that looks amazing. Mm. The skin is so crispy and the middle is actually really soft. I think double frying it really is the key. And the sauce, oh, I love it. Spicy, salty, a little sour, balanced so well with the fillings. I hope you give this a try soon. Check the description for all the ingredient amounts and the steps. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And I want to see you next time. I have video every Wednesday and Friday. If you want to learn how to cook more Chinese food, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll post at least one delicious recipe each week. And for now, check out my other amazing recipes.